1992 and the champions of the old second division took on the champions of the old first. Two months into the new Premier League and Ipswich Town faced Leeds United. A near capacity crowd at Portman Road which boasted the Premier League's first all-seater stadium. As usual, Ipswich were greeted with plenty of vociferous support. The fans were understandably in good heart. The team had lost just once in ten Premier League matches. They were able to welcome back Paul Goddard, who was available after a knee problem. But they faced tough opponents in Leeds. Gordon Strachan flanked his Scottish teammate Gary McAllister in midfield. Welsh international Gary Speed played a central role too, with Scott Sellers on the left. Another notable name in that lineup, Eric Cantona was making one of his last appearances for the Yorkshire club, who'd had a trying European fixture in Stuttgart earlier in the week. Your match commentator is John Champion. This may be the newly formed English Premier League, but the game pits the reigning Football League champions, Leeds United, against the champions of what was the second division, Ipswich Town. Ipswich with just one Premier League defeat so far, 4-2 at Oldham a fortnight ago. Leeds struggling. Finding that the mantle of champions is a heavy one to bear and to carry, and that they become targets for opponents up and down the country who regard them as a much bigger scalp than some others. Here's Kawamia. Dazelle, whipped off his toe by Gary McAllister. Chapman. Strachan. Super leads midfield, so outstanding last year. Doing duty again today. Strachan and Speed and McAllister. And Batty. But Batty having to slot in at right back because of the ankle injury sustained by Mel Sterland. It's a case of needs must for Leeds at the moment. Just one win in their last six Premier League outings. There's Linegan. Goddard beaten in the air by White. That hit Dorigo. Mickey Stockwell. Partizan and very enthusiastic support for Ipswich. Goddard's ball in, dealt with by Fairclough. It's going to be very interesting to see just how much Leeds' exertions against Stuttgart in the week have taken out of them. Neil Thompson is going to swing this in. A Yorkshireman himself. Geraint Williams. Watch as it heads wide by John Lukic. Williams, Ipswich Town's record signing from Derby County. David Ellery says free kick Ipswich. Here's Goddard, Kawamia, Neil Thompson, Dorigo, and it's another corner. No question at all that Ipswich have started the brighter. Thompson. Well, it was Phil Whelan who had the header. And his arrival was late and it was pretty much unnoticed. He was only jumping against Cantona. It's only a part-time player, Phil Whelan with Ipswich. Whilst he completes his studies in accountancy. White. Sellers. Leeds ball. Leeds have yet to win away this season. Three draws, two defeats, including a 4-1 thumping at Middlesbrough. Dorigo. There's Thompson. Free kick for Leeds. Gordon Strachan has gone across to join the committee meeting, which also involves Scott Sellers. 
and David Batty and Dorigo and McAllister over what should happen with this set piece. McAllister! Direction always a right. Thompson to Goddard. Batty. Ipswich currently 10th in the table at kickoff, 12 points from their opening 10 fixtures. Held back by the fact that seven of those 10 games have been drawn. Here's Goddard. Well, this is really bright from Ipswich. John Lyle will be delighted with the start that they've made. Neil Thompson has gone across to take this. Man, he used to play part-time with Scarborough, combining that with his daytime job as a nappy salesman. He's making a good fist of being a Premier League footballer now. Kiwamia! Striker born just down the road from Leeds in Huddersfield. Gives Ipswich the lead against Leeds. Third goal of the season. Awful marking. Non-existent marking, really. So had he not got there, John Walk would have done. Leeds' problems on their travels continue. Stockwell. Speed. McAllister. Now Garrett Williams. Batty. Determined play by David Batty. That's one that leads a free kick. But they trail to Chris Kiwamia's headed goal. McAllister. Goalkeeper never worried, Craig Forrest. Knew it was always heading well, well wide. Dorigo. Sellers. Batty. Cantona. So influential in the closing stages of last season in guiding Leeds towards the title. Third in their illustrious history. Chapman. Dorigo. And that was Cantona. Then it was Speed. Then it was Cantona. And now it's Forrest. Leeds finding their feet in this fixture at long last. Strachan. Chapman. Cantona. He's not been the influence this season so far that he was last. described as enigmatic. Patty. Lee Chapman. Gordon Strachan. Met meatily by Linnigan. Chris White. Putting his fellow centre-back in trouble. That's Fairclough. And Goddard's got the better of him. Gavin Johnson. Goddard. Really heavy pressure this from Ipswich. Just lacking in the delivery. Williams. Strachan. Kawamia. 
This has gone for a free kick. David Batty has told David Ellery precisely what he thinks of the decision, which is not a lot. Ten minutes to half time. John Walk! He may be 35, but he's still got a mean old eye for goal. And he was helped by the goalkeeper, Lukic. I don't think John Lukic got a clear view at all. Makes you wonder about the positioning of the wall. He saw it very late, too late, and couldn't keep it out. Sellers. McAllister. Chapman. Cantona. Strachan wouldn't run to him. Williams saw to that. Batty. come into this game with 14 points six fewer than they had at the same stage last season that by Thompson All three of their Premier League wins this year have been at home against Wimbledon Spurs and Everton it's on their travels where they're really failing to make an impact trailing here 2-0 Speed. Away by Walk. White. Kawamia. Johnson. Goddard. And the volley. Which is spelt and then Dazel puts it wide. Goddard still in play. That must be a penalty. It is a penalty. Goddard upended by David Batty. The only surprise was that Ipswich didn't manage to score before the ball reached Paul Goddard. A couple of really good chances. But now here is the best chance of all. Lee Chapman's had a word with Lukic. Attempt to put John Walk off, knowing Walk it'll take rather more than that. 3 0. And Walk has two of them. A penalty to add to his earlier free kick. Just about the perfect penalty, too. Sellers. season in danger of plumbing a new depth they've had a number of lows this season the European shenanigans involving Stuttgart hasn't necessarily helped them but may work to their advantage in the end Batty Dorigo comfortably within reach for Craig Forrest the Australian fullback denied by a Canadian goalkeeper It has been all Ipswich. A brace of goals for the veteran John Walk. Added to the opener from Chris Kawamia, 25 minutes in. Leeds have been really poor. Half-time at Portman Road, Ipswich lead Leeds, 3-0. Alan Sutton, the physio, together with Howard Wilkinson. And the manager's face told its own tale. Five months on from the triumph of clinching the league title. Four points clear of Manchester United. But now it seems fairly major problems for Leeds. Dorigo. Scott Sellers. Chapman. Gavin 
Johnson. Kuomia. Neil Thompson. Williams. It's measured, considered football from Ipswich Town. Mickey Stockwell. John Walk. Stockwell and Dazelle. Well, it deserved a goal. The best passage of football from either side in this game. Pass after pass, movement off the ball. Good final ball in two. Denied by the width of the bar. Lead to the reigning champions. It's Ipswich who are playing championship football. Kiwamia. Johnson. Goddard. David Linnigan. Thompson. Cut out by McAllister. Back whence it came. Now Williams. Kawamia. And he's in here, Kawamia. Block was by Chris White. Whelan, back to Forrest. Whelan fell over, he wasn't pushed by Cantona. McAllister, and Chapman, and it has crept in. Lee Chapman claims the goal, leads on the score sheet at last. Time for them to do something about this. Half an hour or so to play. Just wonder watching the replay whether Mickey Stockwell didn't get the crucial touch. The way that Lee Chapman wheeled away suggests that it's going to be mighty difficult to take that goal away from him. Williams, just too strong. Ipswich unbeaten at home in the Premier League. In fact, it's 11 league games last season and this since they lost here. There's Sellers. But they're really enjoying themselves after six years out of the limelight in the second division. For Leeds, it's proving to be a traumatic start to the season. Strachan, Scott Sellers, Dorigo, White, Batty away by Stockwell. John Walk. David Linnigan, forced to the conceding a corner. His brother Andy used to play for Leeds. Strachan. Was missed by Chapman, but not by speed. And even though they haven't played particularly well, Leeds are right back in this contest. Strachan's corner. Chapman was very close to making contact, and speed simply couldn't miss. Leeds sense that they're in with a chance.
holding it up. Walk. Gary McAllister for Leeds. Fairclough. Thompson. Paul Goddard. Walk. This is Johnson. Well, there was a bit more urgency about Ipswich now. They did appear rather lethargic having established that three-goal lead. As if they felt the game was won. That's far from one. Here's Thompson. Walker, veteran of Ipswich's UEFA Cup win back in 1981. Goddard. Walk. Dazelle! That's a super header from a terrific cross by John Walk. And one hesitates to say it after Leeds come back from 3-0 down, but at 4-2, that should be enough for Ipswich. Cantona. McAllister. May have to be a reassessment on Howard Wilkinson's part of how Leeds approach this league campaign. It's plan A plainly isn't working. Chapman and Stockwell got a piece of it and Forrest is able to claim Ipswich face Wigan here in the second leg of a League Cup tie on Tuesday 2-2 from the first game It's English Premier League points that are very much uppermost in their mind. And here's Kawamia trying to seal three of them. Good save by Lukic. Shake of the head from a striker who could have put this beyond any reasonable doubt. Kiwamia, maybe this time. Maybe not. Leeds, who were so miserly defensively last season, looking in danger of shipping goals so much more often this. Ipswich fans want the whistle. And there it is. And Ipswich have demolished the reigning league champions with a 4 2 win. John Walk scoring two, setting up one. There's life in the old dog yet. Kiwomia and Dazelle, the scorers either side of Walk's double. Chapman and Speed for Leeds. Leeds, though, one win in seven in the Premier League, have major problems. Here at Portman Road, it's finished Ipswich Town 4, Leeds United 2.